What's up guys, Fish Tank Dave here, and we are in a different spot. We're not in the fish room, we're actually in my office, and I have another gaming channel, link will be in the description below. This is kind of my gaming setup, but this is where all my recording software is, so figured well, let's do a video here. Today I want to talk about this, right here. This is the um, Hobby Ardema Hatcher which basically is a brine ship hatcher, but this thing is different than most normal hatchers. Um, you can actually hatch brine shrimp with no power, no air, literally nothing. And it's actually really cool. The directions on the back are basically like, you, there's like all these baffles in the back and all that stuff. So guys, this is not a tutorial video. This is more of an overview and something that's actually pretty amazing that I did not know. And the only reason I found out is because I started following Bulk Reef Supply who, and I started doing salt water and I would have never known about this hatcher if, if it weren't for that, to be honest. I don't think it's really well known in the fresh freshwater hobby. So I decided to actually give it a try when I saw this hatcher takes no power, it takes no air, it takes nothing like that to actually function. So it's actually pretty amazing what it can actually do. So you can see from the footage here that I'm actually setting this up. You need to take about two cups of water, mix it with three tablespoons or three teaspoons, mix it with three teaspoons of marine salt or whatever salt you use to hatch brine shrimp with, mix it up and fill up and pour it into the actual hatcher. Now what I found out is you have to actually get the water to the fill line. So after I poured that two cups in, I took fresh water and made sure that I filled it up to the fill line because if you don't do that, um, there's not gonna be enough room for the brine shrimp to actually navigate through the baffles and actually get to the center. So then you would take the baffle, you would put it down, you know, notch side down so it's actually, you know, it should be flat on top. Then you would take a couple scoops of the brine shrimp eggs and put them on the outer level. What ends up happening is, uh, th well, then you would just close the actual top in the closed position and then put the collection cup in the middle. When, what ends up happening after 24 to 48 hours is the brine shrimp will actually be attracted to the light and they will go through the baffles in like a maze to get to the center and you'll see from the footage here that they will just go to the collection cup and all you have to do is just pick it up and you're good to go. The cool part about this this hatcher is the fact that it actually can last for multiple days and multiple feedings as you let the eggs just hatch over time. Now a lot of people will do a, um, you definitely get your your the most value out of your eggs because you're waiting an extended period of time for them to hatch. I feel like when you're hatching eggs daily and you're aggressively pumping air into them and all that stuff, I don't think the hatch rate is 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 great if you just have a little bit of patience with this thing. So I've actually felt like I've used other hatchers and other DIY setups in the past, and I feel like I'm actually on average getting more brine shrimp to hatch out of these eggs just by being patient. So what will end up happening is I'll get actually a feeding for like one of my fry tanks for one day, and then if you just leave the eggs in there, I've actually found out that you can wait up up until about three days, 72 hours or so after, you know, initial, initially setting this up, you can get feedings off of this and actually have, you know, say you want to daily feed a fry tank this, you could, you set it up once, it's good for three days. It's crazy. I, I, I actually can't believe it. And if you want more, I think the most I've done is two scoops. They say up to, I think it's two to four scoops of brine shrimp eggs. I think I might try to do three and just extend it. Um, but for something that doesn't take any power or anything like that, this is, it's shocking how good it actually works and how amazing it truly is. Um, link will be in the description below for the product. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. I just figured, all right, I cover more freshwater fish. I only have one saltwater tank and that's not going to change anytime soon. Um, but I don't think a lot of the freshwater hobbyists know of this product, which is crazy because this is, this is such a set it and forget it and you're good to go. Um, if I had a fish room with a bunch of fried tanks, I might even buy two or three of these. I think it's $25 for that and it's well worth the price. The build quality is, the build quality is really good with this. It's, uh, it's, it's so simple. And, and when I saw that it took no power, it took no air, it took a very simplistic setup. I, I was, I was sold immediately. I was like, shut up and take my money. <laughs> so... 
Um, I think if I had multiple fry tanks going, see like right now I have my sword tails and they are growing like crazy. I'm feeding them brine shrimp and uh, blood worms and things like that. And they are just, I mean, they're a little bit over a month old and I swear they're, they're pushing an inch and a half, two inches, probably an inch and a half, but still that's, it's crazy how fast they're growing. And even the smaller batch of, of sword tails, I don't know. I must have gotten lucky with what I picked to breed. These calico swordtails are just exploding in population. Um, but, you know, it, it. I can actually see if you had a fish room full of fish having two or three of these and just set them up and just, you know, once or twice a day coming up to the collection cup and picking it up and going again. You can actually see in the footage right now, this is how many brine shrimp are there after three or four hours after my initial feeding this morning. I'm probably going to end up being able to feed brine shrimp again today for the second time off of, you know, hatching once. And like I said, I'll leave it overnight and I will have a bunch of brine shrimp in the morning just waiting there again. So it's really good if you have one or two fry tanks. If you have a fish room with, you know, 50 tanks and you have like eight fry tanks, one of these alone is not going to cut it. But like I said, for the ease of use, not really having to do much with it, you could set up multiples. I mean, I might actually, as my fish room grows, um, I will probably end up having multiples and having more than one. Also, you can see from the footage that I actually got a critter container and actually put these guys in a critter container with salt water and actually raised them up for about three, four days. You can see they were getting a lot bigger and I was using a spirulina powder to actually feed them. And, uh, you know, I was going on vacation, so I couldn't. I, I stopped and I was like, okay, uh, they might not survive after this vacation, so I might as well just you know feed them all to my fish. So I basically gut loaded uh, the brine shrimp for three, four days with spirulina powder and let them grow up a little bit more. And now, you know, I actually want to set that up again and do another setup. That way I actually can try to raise them to full grown. Uh, so what's actually really cool is I didn't know this, uh, Aquarium Co-op, uh, Corey, I saw this from his video. Um, well, actually it wasn't his video, it was uh, a tour of his ponds. And he actually had a brine shrimp pond outside with salt water. And this kind of blew my mind that he got those uh, brine shrimp to not only get to full grown, but they were actually... Uh, producing live brine shrimp for for him and that just my brain exploded I did not know that brine shrimp are actually like live bears and they can actually when they're happy in a good environment they'll actually produce live babies when they're not happy they'll actually produce eggs so I think that's going to be the next project for me is to actually take that critter container try to get a group you know grown up to full grown and see what happens um, plus they're super interesting to look at you know seeing those sea monkeys and all that stuff and seeing them grow they they look very interesting and if anything and if it fails I'll end up just being able to feed you know adult brine shrimp to my fish so it's a win-win situation if you ask me so that is about it for the video uh more videos to come probably more today it's labor day so i hope you guys have a great labor day and if this is the first video that you have seen from me make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below i actually want to start doing live streams of my fish room and just talking about certain topics and things like that and i think i need 100 subscribers to make that happen you know if you subscribe it's greatly appreciated uh because i want to get to that level where i can actually do live streams weekly and kind of do you know kind of a fish tour and uh update videos on every tank um and go from there so anyway guys that is gonna do it for the video if you like this video hit that like button if you dislike it hit that dislike button and i'll see you guys in the next one later